For some reason, some of you may want to transfer from iPhone to Android or from Android to iPhone. The point is, you want to back up some data first before you transfer. For example, when you have WhatsApp, you want to transfer all of data from WhatsApp to your Android or from your Android to your iPhone. So you can back up all of the message from your phone to another one. So in this case, I'm gonna show you on my iPhone and then I'm gonna transfer data from WhatsApp on my iPhone into this Android device. So what you need to do, you need to have one the share doctor phone. You need to install it on your Mac or on your Windows. So there are two choices. You can use Windows or use Mac. So it does work on both systems. And one more thing, if you want to transfer from iPhone to Android, make sure the destination device, like for me Android here, you need to have WhatsApp already installed on your Android device. And after that, you need to connect both of your devices into your PC at the same time. So you need two cables. Then on your Android, it can ask for you to allow. So make sure you allow transfer files and click on OK on this one. Click on OK. Then you are good to go. So what you need to do, you need to open up one of your doctor phone and you need to find WhatsApp transfer. So you need to click on that. After that, you should be able to see this page pop up and you can see on the side of this software, there are many social media that you can transfer. But for this one, I'm gonna mainly focus on WhatsApp where you can transfer WhatsApp messages into your other device. So I can just click on that. So for sources, it is the device that you can uh, um, transfer data from. And then destination is the device that gonna receive the data. So for me, I'm gonna copy from my iPhone. I need to select my iPhone. And then I'm gonna select on Android here. So I transfer from my iPhone into Android. Then I can just finally click on transfer. Now click on continue. Now it is doing its process. So it may take some time depend on the data on your device. So you need to patiently wait for the software to finish. Now after the process is completely done, you're gonna see it is on your Android device, it is open WhatsApp straight away. So what you need to do, you can click on agree and continue. Now you need to enter your phone, your phone number, then you can click on next. And after that, you're gonna receive the code into your phone, so you can hit on OK. And you can get the code from the older device, so you can see it message right here. Now it is verified, so I need to enter one more code that I have to step verification. Then click on next. Now it is complete. So now you can see from my Android device, this is the message that we have just transferred from my iPhone now into my Android device. 
And finally, thanks for watching. I hope you like and I hope this video is helpful for you. Then I will catch you guys in the next one.